Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 121 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this weapon is for the Great Sword, and to get that weapon you have to go to Yellow Turban Rebellion level in the Han Forces. So, let's get started. I made it Fushi because he had a Great Sword in Dynasty Warriors 3. Even though the depiction may not be completely accurate, I figured that was the best way to go. His Holy Avenger sword is at level 9, which is actually pretty cool. Kind of looks like a Claymore. Or something you would see from Soul Calibur that Siegfried or Nightmare would carry. That being said, let's continue on. Cow will penetrate enemy lines from the east, while Sun Jian attacks from the west. The Monitor forces will break through the middle and join the other two forces. Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang can control the elements? Now to get this weapon is actually very simple. You have to defeat every officer in this stage. You don't have to worry about sub-officers, however. So you can just ignore them altogether. Which actually makes things pretty easy. Usually what I like to do to keep myself organized and to ensure that the other Han forces don't get to them first is I like to go for like the bottom ones first and then work my way around either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on your preference. Which order you decide to do is entirely up to you. Just remember you don't have to defeat all the sub-officers. I could use an extra weapon boost, why not? Okay, going after Bo Zhang next is debatable, because you like to get rid of the boulders as quickly as possible. So I like to go straight for Zhang Liang. And don't worry, once I'm done here, I'll actually show you Taisha Se's uh, new attire, because I forgot to show that from the previous episode, even though I promised to. Worst case scenario, the boulder can steal your kill. I actually dove in front of that boulder on purpose to protect Zhang Liang. What the hell am I deadlocking with? Okay, that was a weird glitch. That was very, very unusual. Enemy officer, Rolling boulder is literally the only thing that can knock you off Shadow Harness. The horse that is known to make it impossible to be knocked off of, boulders do the trick. Enemy officer, there we go. Fushi's or the Great Sword Six Charge is actually pretty cool. I mean, you just flip them up. That's pretty awesome. And usually, if that's the finishing blow, like the item will just spawn right there, rather than exactly where the officer is gonna land. Cause like he's gone to the heavens now. He ain't coming back down. Okay, so Zhang Bao and Zhang Man Cheng are next. Luckily, the other forces aren't even in that fortress. So any sub-officers, you're better off just leaving them alone. They don't even give you good stats anyway. Like what, maybe one or two? That's it. At this point, you probably won't even need them. And if you wanted to train their stats, I mean, they're on better levels. Huh. I never thought the Flame Geysers gave me a bit of an assist. Enemy officer defeated. And sometimes a first or second assist is just as good as a goal, remember that. You must not fall behind. Some NHL players tend to win the Art Ross Trophy on secondary assists alone. Alright, Fushi's sword is now unlocked. That did not take long at all. You are a hero without equal. Yeah, you got that right, Hajin. Alright, so all I have to do is defeat Zhang Zhao and finish the stage. There's very few, like, uh, characters left. I'd say everything goes my way. Part 125 will actually be the final episode. To think, 125 episodes of this Let's Play, which started in November of 2013. And this is probably gonna be May by the time this video is up. Depending on my upload schedule. I mean, at the latest, it'll be June. Now, 
Nice. Did I actually hit Zhang Zhao in midair? Like I catapulted a soldier? That's actually pretty awesome. Oh, I was hoping you would launch me right into that axe. Just catapulting the yellow turbans. And it's done. Like, I'm just literally the angel of death right now with that giant blade. Alright, so that's another level 10 weapon in the books. Let's see how it looks. Of course, the items are going to be crap. I mean, this is a very easy level. Wow! Look at that blade! It's a claymore on steroids! Oh, yep. Yeah. Before I end the episode, I might as well show off Taisha Sa's attire. I'm just going to go for any level. It doesn't matter. Because I was boasting how good it looks. I mean, look at it! He's like a freaking minotaur with this! The weapons! I mean, giant clubs! So, anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here. In the next episode, we get another weapon. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.